Plebby 16. What's up, Plebheads? I'm Neo, and I'm joined here tonight by my brother, the undisputed, undefeated king of no BS himself. Mr. Fucking YouTube, baby. Mr. Fucking YouTube, I gotta know. Ghost of Tsushima, are you hyped? I am, and you know why? Why? We get a June release for this fucker. I know, no shit, right? And I'm really excited about I that. I have been dying to get a good game in the summer, because, yeah. I mean, hey, yeah, I do other stuff in the summer. I mean, we do some fishing, we do some hiking, but... I still game. You mean you leave the house? I leave the basement once in a while in the summer, yeah. But I still game, like, you know, for nine hours a day. What kind of gamer leaves the basement? So, for real, like, I'm glad to see we're going to get something in the summer. Well, let's talk about the collector's edition. Uh, first of all, game day one is 60 bucks. So let's right, talk so about what are we getting here? We're you getting are getting a steelbook. steelbook, which includes PS4 game. I swear, the people marketing this stuff must be watching our videos. They do watch. Because we bitch about that all the time, that it doesn't say that. You get a cloth map of... Tsushima. The island of Tsushima. You get a sashimono, which is a war banner. Now, can you, you actually, like, put that up somehow? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you can. You just put it on a little thing, hang it up. Okay. Furoshiki, which is a wrapping cloth. You get Sakai mask, mask and stand. Unwearable mask. Is it this is probably going to be like... Um, the, the mouth cover. But no, is yeah, it wearable? Well, I mean, either way. This is probably going to be like um, the... the uh, remember the game Spider-House? With, yeah. with the face mm. on the stand? Uh, also, uh, you see it has oh, these yeah. little things here. does not have that in I this don't picture. See them, yeah. I don't either. This, to me, is a display piece. Okay. This is basically a glorified paperweight. Yep. A 48-page mini art book. Physical. From Dark Horse. That's yes. different than the special edition. It is different, yes. Okay. Samurai PS4 dynamic theme. Director's commentary. One technique point. Charma Hachiman's favor. Hiro Tsushima skin set. Golden mask. Body armor. Sword kit. Horse. And saddle. As well as, for the record, the rest of the... Pre-order stuff. Pre-order content, which we have a $0 value on. Yeah. That's with all of the editions. Yeah. So, uh, Mr. YouTube, let's talk about this. What did we say we were on that steelbook? Well, you could give 10, you know, if you gave 10 bucks on the steelbook, 10 to 15, you'd be Yeah, right. 10 to 15 is, uh, yeah, it's a good value. It's I a good like value. the steelbook. I don't love the steelbook. It's not the Doom Eternal steelbook. The Doom Eternal steelbook is like, is probably what? Is that the only one we've ever gone like 20 to $25 on? Like the best on? steelbook of all time. So it's a good yeah. steelbook. I cannot see the back of it, guys, and it makes me feel at the back of the steelbook is blank or yep. just yep. has that design across the back sure sure it's a fair steel book though and it i is. do like it from a collectible standpoint it's a 10 to 15 dollar steel book okay let's talk about that cloth map what do you think what do you think it's a fucking cloth map i'm five bucks you're five bucks max well there's our there's our yeah. second row map right there it's just hanging up on the wall you got yeah it's five dollars i'm five bucks on that map let's see here what do you have that sashimono five to ten wrapping cloth what, what what do you mean wrapping cloth like you gonna use it mm. is it just like a silk piece of silk is that all that is and they're trying to call it something interesting so people give them 20 bucks for it it's all part of a theme I, I i get it but what is it is it silk like wrapping cloth like you'd wrap your like dead body in it or something i don't know jesus christ of course you'd say that um i think for the war banner and the Furoshiki, i think i'm i think i'm uh 25 bucks total you're 25 total? 25 for total for both. That's 15 for one, 10 for the other. Would you? How big is the war band? See, I don't like that when I can't tell how big it is. Like, is it, would, like, if I held it up on a thing outside and, like, charge at you, would you get scared? Or would you think I had mental problems? <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> of course he would. Of course he'd say that. I'm, I, like I said, I'm 20, I think I'm 25 bucks on both. Or if you want to go 10 on each, I'm 20 on both. We can do that. I'd I'll say 20 is realistic. I'll meet you in the middle. I'll meet you in the middle at 20. That's fine. Um, Unless that war banner is massive. Yeah. Like, if I can hang that up, like, underneath my American flag and, like, signal people not to fuck with me, then I'd give you 25 bucks for it, you know? Yeah. Because it'd yeah. be cool. People yeah. would be like, I don't hey. think it's. I don't think it's going to be it, huge. It doesn't. Yeah. It just looks like we're having it in comparison to everything else. It doesn't look like it's huge. It doesn't look like it's something that's going to strike fear in. Yeah. You know, anybody. Okay. All right. Uh, art book. I feel like the art book plus the DLC, right? All that downloadable stuff. Ten bucks. 
I feel like I'm 10 on all of it. I like the fact that it's a physical art book. That's a nice upgrade. I do too, but it is one of the mini art books from Dark Horse. We saw that with the Alien Colonial Marines Collector's Edition, so we know about how big they are and what to expect. So it's so it's probably going to be like this, but mm-hmm. I like this, so it's not huge by any stretch of the imagination. It is a smaller book. Yeah. So I'll give you five bucks for that, five bucks for all the DLC. I'll give you ten bucks total for the pair. Yep. How much are you giving for that mask? Is this like the, the freaking scorpion mask that's like 300 bucks? No. From Mortal Kombat. No, and we and that and that mask wasn't worth three hundred dollars. <laughs> no. Well, how much are they on this mask? I mean, how much do you do you think you get for this? I I don't know how I feel about getting the mask, guys. It doesn't thrill me because I don't think it's wearable. Number one. So again, I'm not going to be able to strike fear in my enemies with that. I mean, I could hold it in my hand, I guess, maybe wrap it in my furoshiki, but. I don't know if that's going to strike the fear that I'm trying to trying to get here. How much are you on that mask? Is that a fifty dollar piece? Fuck no! I don't think that's fifty dollars. Here's the thing. Let's let's be real. It is really pretty. It's cool looking. Look at that. There is some detail here. But it's like a one, two color thing. One. It's not wearable. Two, three. To my knowledge. If it is, it sure as hell don't make a point of it. It's a paperweight. It's like a figure. It's a paperweight. It's not even a cool figure. It'd be a hell of a lot cooler to get the, the guy. Jim, yeah. You know, with his bow. Like, yeah. like his, see how he looks right there? He, in should, the be holding, box? he should be in the statue. He should have a mask. 12 inch figure of him in this. Yeah. With that pose. That would yeah. be amazing. And 35 bucks on the mask. Maximum. Not a penny more. That's that's the most you could offer for that, guys. You gotta that's be the most I'd stuff. offer you for it. I wouldn't give you more than that for it. And that assumes it's amazing, too. Yeah, yeah. that assumes like you have to fucking have it. Yeah. Um, here's my problem with this collector's edition. See, I know the price. Yeah, it's I'm, only okay. I am I think this collector's edition is a miss. I don't necessarily think it's a ripoff. It's well-themed. But I think it's a miss. It is well-themed. I will give it that. I do like the theming. Yeah, the theming I is like perfect. I like the fact that the map is cloth, yep, right? I do, too. I like the yeah. Furoshiki, like... Like the stuff would actually make sense within the time period. Yeah, yeah. It's so awesome. that's fine. It's all uh, well themed. It's all properly, you know, properly put together. You got to make sure when you look at that, you can cut that whole right side off, right? Because that's all that DLC stuff. Basically, anything in here you is is digital only. Yeah. So you got to be careful there. I'm. Yeah. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm you just a couple things here, guys. And again, it's not a lot of usable stuff. It's yeah. a map you're never gonna look at. You might throw it up on the wall if you have a game room. Again, the war banner, what's it look like? <coughs> it doesn't look like it's a massive war banner that you can charge the, the streets with. It's probably this big. You it's got a wrapping a cloth a you'll never use. Okay, it's going to sit in the box. A little mini art book. And a disappointing yeah. figure choice, to my estimation. The best piece in this whole thing is the fucking steel book. Yep. And you can get that in the in the uh, special edition. Yeah. So that's where I'm at. Unless there's something about the mask, I don't know. If it's wearable, if it's... So are you 35 tops on that mask? Yeah, maximum. <coughs> maximum. Right, let me ask you a couple questions, because this is important. Because I know there's going to well, be what, some... What does our price come out at? We our should price, add it up. Our price comes out at... What do we got? I have... Two, two, and this would be the high end. $60 for the game, 15 yeah. for the steelbook, 75 Map is 5 for 80 The other two would be 20 That would be 100 110, 145 bucks. Okay, 149.99. That's where this comes out at. Not a penny more. From a value standpoint, I'm t- I'm sorry. That that's what this is. 229.99. No, I would not give you 229.99 for this. 189.99. Personally, no, I wouldn't go that high. Yeah, I think they're both high. 149 is where the valuation comes in. 169 would be really pushing it. There would have to be some major fandom involved there. And you're taking a shot, guys, because this is an untested IP. We're not 100% certain about the quality. Uh, we think it's going to be good. We looks, hope it's going to be good. Looks it good. looks good, but we haven't played it. So we don't know. Okay? 169. That's really pushing. I'm 149 on this. If this is 149, I say it's a buy. If it's higher than that, I think you're a little bit, a little bit high, uh, you know, on, on your valuation. So we'll have to see where they come in. 
You ready? Go ahead. Let's see what they come in at. Mr. YouTube. Clench your butt. It's clenched. Extra hard. One sixty nine, guys. Uh, okay. You look at the special edition. You get the digital stuff plus the steelbook for seventy dollars. Yep. So I want you to put the picture back up so I can show people what we need to look at here. Are you one hundred dollars? This is the question you ask yourself. Are you one hundred dollars for a cloth map, Sashimono, Furoshiki, Sakai mask? And a 48 page mini art book. That's one, two, three, four, five things. Are you 20 bucks a piece on those? That's the question you ask yourself. If you are, buy the fucking thing. If you're not, this, Do not is, buy. A, this is a hard pass. Okay? Yeah. I'm right at the edge here. Okay? Here's the thing this collector's edition, if this had been a statue of our character right there holding, oh, it's the, an absolute buy. holding the mask, it'd be a buy. Absolute buy. Uh, the mask is a mess. I the think ma it's a miss. The mask, well, the mask alone misses fifteen dollars with a value minimum because we're usually fifty bucks on those figures if they're really nice. Yeah. But the mask is missing fifteen dollars with the value because I'm just not sold on it. I, I don't have a boner for it at all. I don't get excited when I see it. I don't. Doesn't. You it know, doesn't get my heart jumping. It doesn't. It doesn't really. But uh, unless it's wearable, if it's wearable, it's a different story. If it's wearable and you use it as a cosplay prop, you might really get excited for it. Yeah. But if it's just a stand and that does does it come off the stand? Can I hold it? If it doesn't come off the stand. Total, total mess. Sorry. Mm. Uh, I, I can't get there. Uh, yeah, the you ask yourself that question, guys. When mm. you review this in your own head and you think, am I buying this? You ask yourself that question. Cloth Map, Sashimono, Furoshiki, Sakai Mask, 48 Page Mini Art Book. $100 for those five things. That's realistically what you're getting here that's significantly different than what you get in that special edition. Yeah. And, okay. remember, and remember, even the special edition comes with a digital art book. The, four, the, yeah. the digital mini art book. Yep. I mean, so, I have a little bit of a soft spot in my heart for the hard, if that's a hardcover, nice quality mini art book. I think it could be hardcover, but it doesn't, it's not guaranteed. Could be hardcover, though. It looks like it could be. So I have a little soft spot in my heart for that. But again, realistically, art books, guys, you look at them once, they go on the bookshelf or they go back in the box. We know this for a fact. We've got about 200 of them. I couldn't tell you where any of them are. Okay, we don't look at them more than once. So, are you a hundred dollars for those five items that you see there? Is that Furoshiki a twenty dollar item for you? Is that Sashimono a twenty dollar item for you? If you saw it laying on a table for twenty dollars, would you give the guy twenty dollars for it? Yep. Cloth yes. map? Would you give him twenty bucks for that? Fuck no. No, I wouldn't either. The answer to if you can't see yourself giving at least twenty dollars for each of those five items, you're a pass. Or do you significantly value that mask? Yeah. Maybe in the fifty to sixty dollar range. Yeah, do you have a mass collection? Like, do you is that something you really like? Some some people are really into that stuff. Maybe maybe you know for us it's a thirty five value, but maybe for you you're like I'll give you seventy bucks for that. Like, then this is probably an easy buy for you. Yeah, I'm right at the edge here, guys. I really am. Yeah, it's I very hard. One, I said one sixty nine. I I could see it, but it doesn't it doesn't make my heart beat. You know no. what I mean? It doesn't no. really make me jump. One sixty nine. Wallet. One sixty nine, and this makes me go like this. Yes, here's my money. But 149 in this, I get a little bit more excited. If the actual mask and stand is maybe a figure instead, even at the 169 price, I'm like, take my fucking money. Yeah, 169 with that with that character figure right there that you see that pose on the box. If that was the figure at 169, this is an instant buy. That's why I said I. That's why I said I think this collector's edition is a miss. They put the wrong. They put the wrong fucking paperweight in there. Yeah. It's really I, disappointing. I'm not going to say it's a ripoff. I'm, I'm not, not going to say it's a ripoff, but I'm not going to say it's a great value. It's I, certainly, it's yeah. no Sekiro. It's not. I think for me, if I'm buying any of the editions, I'm probably getting the special edition. Special here. edition's a very good value. I like the Steelbook, and I think it's one of the, you know, probably the nicest piece overall. Yeah. And you get all that stuff in the special edition for 10 extra bucks. Yeah. I think that's the one I'm going to go with personally. Uh you guys got to look at this yourselves and see if you can get $100 out of that map, war banner, wrapping cloth, mini art book, and mask. If you can get $100 there from your, you know, in your own head, this is this is fine to buy. 
Yeah. I think it's a well themed collector's edition, and I don't really have a problem <coughs> with like the item selection, other than the mask. I think is a little disappointing. It is. But I don't have a real problem with that stuff necessarily. The theme is good. The color palette is good. You know, all that stuff is nice. Yeah. It's just, it just doesn't get my heart beating. Me neither. There's like a little bit of a disappointment kind of with like the Resident Evil 3 Clutch Edition where we didn't get a steelbook. And it's that like, was a miss. That one was a miss. I mean, really? At least we get a steelbook here, which yeah. I like. Yeah. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm in the middle here. I can't really say, I'm not, I personally am not buying this. No. Um, We're also not going to tell people to rush out and buy it. I'm not going to tell you to rush out and buy it. I'm going to tell you to do some thinking about it. Yeah, do some serious thinking on this one. Uh, Approach with caution. And basically you ask yourself, can I get to $100 on those items? And that's where you're going to get your value. I'm right at the edge. Plebs, we want your thoughts down in the comments. Are you buying the collector's edition? Like the video if you enjoyed the honest breakdown review and value assessment. We will see each and every one of you right here next time for more honest YouTube content like this. You're welcome. GG of Plebs.